Good morning, everyone. Someone wrote to me and wanted to know why I was so sure there were no evil spirits. I'm sure, number one, that there are no evil spirits because I'm told that from spirit. I've connected from a very young age and I have never personally been in contact with anyone who was negative in any way from the other side. Uh, and But mainly I believe it because that's what I'm told from spirit. And if you use good common sense, which God gave all of us, you know, uh, this God who created this this earth and we and this universe, and we have no idea how many other universes. I, I just can't believe that people believe that this same God who can do anything needs help getting one of his own to the light. Uh, I, I just think it's a money-making racket, and it's just not credible. Uh, spirit energy, spirit energies don't have physical bodies. They don't have the ability to knock. They don't have physical bodies. They can't move things around. Uh, it, it, it's just not possible. So it's not true. But it's a money maker. You know, I had shared with you before that are, there are people in, in this area that will go to your home and remove the trapped entities for um, a, a pretty hefty amount. And people buy it. And it's funny because I've seen one of the videos uh, from the, these people. They posted it on on uh, their website or on YouTube. I forget where I saw it. And it showed this person... Um, in, in some place in the house in a darkened room because, of course, you can't have any lights on because spirit only comes out in the dark, I guess. And they had one candle lit, and um, the owners of the house, it was really very entertaining for me. I found it, you know, almost like a comedy. The owners of the house were huddled in a corner, like terrified, as this person uh, repeatedly said, go to the light, go to the light, and gave a little shiver and then said, oh, well, they just passed through, you know, this house is clean, and I guess she washed poltergeist. And I guess then she would hand out, put out her hand and take the money and leave. So I think it's ridiculous. I, I can't believe that people buy into it. But, you know, the, the like I say, we go through different times in our lives when we become very fragile, when we suffer from loss, when we suffer from depression. If we're going through an emotional, stressful time in our lives, we, we become fragile. And I think people like this take advantage of people like that. And I think it's a crime. I think it's, uh, you know, talk about sin. I think that's a real sin. So I do not believe that anything negative exists on the other side. I believe that God is always in full control. I don't believe any spirit energy has the ability to, to jump into my body, your body, or anybody's body. I explained to you before that I believe in possession, but not the way it was taught to us in parochial school. I believe possession is a choice because life is all about choices. I believe that if you become an alcoholic or a drug addict, it's a decision, it's a choice that you made. And if you do become you know, um, a, dr a drug addict or an alcoholic, then that does possess you. That's what possession is to me. That's what it means. But they do not have the ability to jump into my body or anybody else's body. Okay? So it's just not true. It's not credible. But it's a moneymaker. So be, be smart. Be smart. Understand the difference. Don't let yourself get wrapped up in this. Recently I did a reading and the one person was absolutely terrified because she watches all these scary things, all these movies that come out. And they, you know, they, they go into the left brain and they stay there. So every little creak that we hear, every little, you know, pipe that creaks, we're going to think is, is, you know, a trapped energy. And it just, it's, it's just not true. It's not credible. So only positive energy exists on the other side. Of that, I am positive. Take my word for it, okay? I hope that answers your question, and as always, I leave you in God's love and light.